This is breaking news. Fortnite kicked off its remixed Chapter 2 season with a Snoop Dogg and Ice Spice concert. Fortnite is rewinding the clock once again. After a bit of teasing, Epic is about to kick off a new period in the Battle Royale game dubbed The Remix, Chapter 2. And it's not only looking back in time, it's integrating music in an ambitious new way. The launch of the remix season was preceded by a musical event, similar to the Eminem concert that teased a new era for Fortnite. This time around, Snoop Dogg and Ice Spice took the stage, both in the game and IRL at Times Square, New York. And once the season kicks off, the musical aspects will go a step farther. As the name implies, the new mini-season brings back many of the characters, gameplay elements, and locations of the game's second chapter, which launched in 2019. Chapter 2 was notable in particular because it erased the original Battle Royale map to start over fresh for the first time. The Chapter 2 map itself would be swapped out in 2021, when it flipped over in dramatic fashion. The month-long event will change things up weekly, with new elements themed around a different musical artist. Snoop Dogg is up first, followed by Eminem, Ice Spice, and culminating with Juice Doyle D. The remixed version of Chapter 2 begins on November 2nd and will run through November 30th, with Epic teasing a final event to wrap things up. It's also introducing a new cosmetic item, Kicks, so that you can put a pair of Nikes on P.E. the Banana. Going back in time isn't new for the game. A year ago, Epic kicked off Fortnite OG, a throwback mini-season that was designed specifically to lure back lapsed players, before the game dramatically expanded with new experiences like LEGO Fortnite. Similarly, music has long been a large focus for the game, with virtual concerts from the likes of Travis Scott and Ariana Grande, along with a rhythm game called Fortnite Festival featuring stars like Billy Eilish. More recently, Epic has started streamlining Fortnite's battle passes to better accommodate all of its many games. Meanwhile, a number of notable places have been crafting Fortnite islands of late, including Hasbro, ESPN, and the Kamala Harris campaign. 